All right. So shout out to Yonkers. <laughs> shout out to Y O L O X D M X forever. Um, one last prolific detail about this whole story. In 1837. That hundred dollar investment. You know what it's worth? I think in twenty twenty, LVMH bought the company. That dude, Mr. Tiffany's, Mr. Tiffany or Tiffany's, that hundred dollars turned into sixteen billion dollars with a B. Sixteen billion. Institutions. That's what we need to build. Institutions. Okay, so um, now what? Right? How do we learn from this? All this great information that I researched. <laughs> what do we do with this information? As creative people, with artists, activists, whatever, whatever. Um, let's see what Tiffany's. Now it's not all bad. Let's let's see what happens. Um, since the initial horrible acts that it took to acquire all this great wealth and prominence across whatever the social structure. Um, Tiffany and co has taken steps to be better, better. Right. Now let's go through some facts about things that they did. Okay. Let's look and see what they have done with the money that they stole from black people. Okay, you guys ready? Let's get in some, some quick details. What has to, what they're doing to fix what they, you know, did. All right. Here we go. And here we go. Okay. In 2000, <laughs> damn it, 100, 200 years later. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, oh, man. No, okay. I'm lying. Here we go. In 2008, <laughs> The Tiffany & Co. Foundation donated, <laughs> look, remember I just told you they got bought for $16 billion? Okay, $16 billion. In 2008, a few years, about 10 years before they got bought for $16 billion, <laughs> they donated $2 million to, the, to another white institution, <laughs> University of Penn, you, you, you know, UPenn, for the construction of an HIV AIDS treatment facility in Botswana, Botswana, where they steal a lot of the diamonds from, <laughs> making money off of treatment from something they probably caused in the first place. Not sure how I feel about that one. Okay, so besides that, what else have they done? Um, a lot of focus on wildlife. That's great. Uh, Tiffany & Co., um, they discontinued sales of coral jewelry in 2004 due to declining oceanic health. In 2005, Tiffany joined Earthworks No Dirty Gold campaign, becoming the first jewelry company, the first jewelry company to apply the, the Earthworks golden rules, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Great. Um... It seems like they, they actually put a lot more emphasis into, like, the um, issues that had nothing to do with the stuff that actually got them the money and the, 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 the wealth and, the I guess, the more egregious acts. Like, when it comes to us, it's not, it's not compared. It's just what white people do to this day. You know what I'm saying? Joe Biden, like... Your issue is not comparable to other stuff. So they kind of water it down. Yeah, we're going to throw you a little sign. We're going to throw you a little sign. And, and clearly, what got them to where they at was shout out to the ocean. We love the ocean. We need the ocean. Shout out to whatever other issues they want to act like they care for. $2 million compared to $6 billion is nothing. Um, it's not even taxes, if they even pay taxes. Um... Barely any other money is put back into the communities they rape, pillage, hurt, and make money from, right? But anyway, so, so that's that's the research I got from it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know where I'm wrong at, where I'm right at. Um, 
If you want a free copy of the art album ebook <laughs> or um, a signed copy of physical book, click the link below. Um, in the comments, let me know what facts or details I may have misspoke on or your overall opinion. Um, hope you guys learned as much as I have. Now take this information and go do something creative with it. Peace.